Hi guys, welcome to Cumbrian Lead Outdoors and welcome to today's video. Now today's video we are at the Bushcraft Show. Um, I'm going to be spending Friday night and Saturday night here. It doesn't kick off properly until tomorrow. While it's still a little bit quiet, what we're going to do is have a little bit of a walk around and show you some of the stalls and some of the activities that are going to be on show. So I'm here with Back to Basics in association with the Bushcraft and Survival Skills magazine. So this is our little bit of a setup here. We've got some of our sponsors up on the uh, billboards there, Grizzly Man Gear and Petromax as well. Steve's brought his uh, extended modified Polish Lavoo with his Loki stove in. Looking nice and cosy in there. And once again, I brought my modern day hot tent uh, just as a bit of a showcase. So I've set it up with the uh, pommelly stove. I've got the inner set up. <clears throat> Same sleeping setup as I had last time I was out, the climate insulated static V, OEX Rome 100. And I might just fire the stove up later just for, just for the crack. So yeah, let's go and have a look around. So yeah, not much going on here at the minute. But it looks like we're going to have some kind of forge set up. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to be going on there later. Got silverback bushcraft stall set up here. So all kinds of outdoors courses and training, stuff like that. And they've got a lovely little fire pit going on with an old school kettle. So once again, it'll be interesting to see what's going to be going on here later. Like we've got the fire drill, fire board drill on the go. Not something I've ever done myself, but I'll maybe have a go. So yeah, we've got all kinds of leather wares on sale here. Some pretty cool little pouches there. Health warning on this one guys, sharp tools. Some lovely old school pitchforks. And some scythes and old saws and stuff. It's pretty cool to see. But I'm Igor, the master of this cave. Yeah. Yeah. Igor, the master of the cave. <laughs> Igor. Some pretty cool Igor's looking axes. So this is the main stage which is still getting set up so we should have some uh, talks and some entertainment on here later maybe a bit of music so looking forward to that so we've got Springfields set up here we've got a variety of uh, military gear just outside with some paracord let's have a look inside selection of Mora knives A nice selection of uh, knives and tools. And then over in the far corner we've got some DD tarps. Trusty DD 4x4, love mine.
tomorrow we're going to be cooking up loads of fish like panassing them. So we've got a variety of food on the show as well. Waffles. This is Patel's. I had a single patty and maple bacon burger from here before. Absolutely delicious. So we do have some people setting up in the far corner as you can see, some more stalls setting up. And if I spin you around, we've got a number of teepees set up in the bottom corner just by the other side of the lake with another couple of big yurts. So we've got some more leatherwares on sale here. Bracelets, purses, some lovely nice sheaths in the back there. And a selection of bones and antlers. And some pretty cool looking old school sewing machines they're beautiful then it's got an army surplus store <laughs> including an anti-tank missile <laughs> and a selection of clothing inside Are you interested in any oh, well, older day and some old school uh, yeah. knives as well uh, no, I'm going to be putting them up just to see if I can get rid of them but um... Another little forge going on here, blacksmithing, so might be interesting to see what's going on here later. So we've got ancient craft setting up here. There's some pretty cool looking old school tools. Very, very old school. Very old school. The, the oldest. As old as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly as old as me. So yeah, primitive tool making and putting them to use. It's pretty cool that. So yeah, there's a quick look around as people are setting up. Obviously, I'll be able to bring you some more detail as to what's going on a little bit later and tomorrow especially. Um, but for now, like I say, that's a quick look around of what's going to be on offer over the weekend. So I'm going to go and grab myself a beer. I'll bring you back when everything kicks off.
Right guys, day two of the bushcraft chore. As you can see in the background there, everyone's uh, starting to appear on site now. It's a lot busier than it was yesterday. Some good food last night and some beers, and um, got my head down about 10 o'clock. Uh, slept really well. So, looking forward to today. Um, somehow, I have managed to uh, let myself in for a bush tucker trial, which involves eating the surstroming and a 100 year old egg and some pig brains and stuff like that. So. That could be interesting there, of course I'll film it, so you could end up seeing me spew all over stage. It could be quite funny. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a wander around now and just see what's going on now things have opened up a bit. That's all right. If you if you want to get rid of it, you can let it slide down the blade up and just whack it on there on the end. Yeah? yeah. Do you think that's going to be comfortable to wear? Might keep the rain off, yeah, but it's, it's not going to last very long. Catching a mouse. How are you going to catch? Show me how you're going to catch a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but there's other things that you could use these for as well. Okay, so yeah, we could scoop water with it. Yeah, we could store other bits of food in it. Yeah, keep it up above. 
around the animals when you're a cat and not going to use real exercise hands. Okay? But what we were going to do is we can use stones. Yeah? Once that's been used, can you use it again? Yeah? How many times do you think you can use that? As, as much as you want until you stand on it, or you tread on it, yeah, and it gets squashed, which is what I did with the few of them getting out of the car. Have you all got this slot down the bottom here? Start off the safest way, which is the strongest bit, which is the bottom. Yeah? Okay. There's four holes there. Yeah. I'm going to push that down. Yeah. Let's get that in the ground. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to hold it, and you're going to hit this. Yeah. You're going to hit this. Not my hand. Not my hand. <laughs> Yeah, two years ago, I ended up with so many bruises, I, I, I couldn't ride for about a week. And I, the top, yeah, the top, right? Both hands, both hands, got to hit it harder. Harder, go on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it! Stop, stop, stop. Yay! Good. Right, now you want to put more holes in the bottom. Why do you want to put more holes in the bottom? Air, ashes. Let's see how much you know about some lighting, some bits and bobs and that. What do you think this stuff is here? Bark. Bark. That one. Oh, not yet. There might be a little bit in there. To, yeah. <laughs> right. What do you reckon that is? Bark. Yeah, what kind of bark? Silver birch. Silver birch. Silver birch is one of the best barks you can use. And that, okay? You can scrape it and you get a little shape in and that will go off really well. Oh, yeah, you just can't go along to a tree and pull off bark, you have to wait till the tree is already dead or dying or already on the ground. We never take bark off from live trees, yeah? Yeah. So, who's camping in the woods tonight? When you go back and you see loads of grown-ups, not kids, because kids want to do this, hacking and sawing off all the trees, what are you going to say to them? Don't do it! Don't do it! Yeah? That tree needs to be dead and on the ground! So that's what you do with that. <laughs> so you'll get your knife and you'll make shavings off of it. Okay, this are called amber dust. What else can you use? Matches. Nothing wrong with matches. Do they go out and run it? What else? What other methods can we use? Friction. Friction. It's going to take a bit of time. What else? Fur, fur. Ferro, ferro, ferro rod. Ferro rod. Is that going? Yeah. And then you'd get your other stuff and start to put that on top. Yeah. So you'd like go this, put that on top. Yeah. Then you put your rusty worms, musty worms, musty spaghetti, musty spaghetti. And then what you got underneath that? What's this fibrous stuff? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Long-lasting. The 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 the, the 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 buggy in wood, yeah, and then the silk birch keep that going. But carefully, I can see me losing my eyebrows on this. Carefully, carefully, give it a little. Who made the noise? Good, well done. You can do it next. Yeah. You got to, like you got to do give it a little. Yeah. Someone's gonna blow it straight. Oh, should turn up. 
Do we like fire? Yeah. yeah. Is fire like the best thing ever? Yeah. After knives and axes and saws and bows and arrows. What we got there? What's in there? What are we going to do with that? We're going to make. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to make a fire. Yeah. Before.